Hey, my name is Eris Liu, and I am a third year student at Kamosan College. Uh, I'm Nicholas Gee. Hi, I'm Kyrell Silva. Yeah, well, my name is Diego. I'm a student from Ecuador. Uh, I'm Adam Claxton. I'm part of Team Ouroboros, uh, and we've created a, a digital synthesizer uh, with an FPGA base, so a field programmable gate array. Um, we used all of the things that we learned here at Camosun uh, and compiled them into one project to create a compact digital synthesizer that allows uh, a musician to take uh, a very powerful synthesizer with them on the go. Well, my project is rebuilding a Hero 1 robot back in 1987. The name of our project was the Calron 360. It was a 3D mapping LiDAR. Uh, we wanted to create a LiDAR on a budget. Uh, most 3D mapping LiDAR worth any quality are valued anywhere between $75,000 and $90,000. We managed to build something that was very close to those and competitive with them for less than $1,000. So what we basically did is we built uh, a smart lamp that has uh, multiple ca capabilities on it. We have a security system inside of it. We also have an Android app that can control the lamp. Uh, so basically, you can just control it from anywhere in the world. So we were commissioned by a local company called Riot to find a solution for current wired methods for collecting data in environmental monitoring systems. The current methods use long wi wires <laughs> to collect the data, but our solution will collect the data on the sensors and transmit it via Bluetooth to a central location where it can be logged to an SD card. Uh, the biggest challenge of the project was to fit everything on the enclosure because we wanted to have a pretty small and compact design, but we were also using parts from manufacturers like Raspberry Pi and stuff like that, so we were a little bit limited by the, by the surface area of, of those perks, right? But yeah, we ended up uh, with a successful project and we're happy with it. The biggest challenge which will be the controlling the motor. The coding probably take us like a month to write and then after that, mm, yeah, everything works pretty well. Uh, time pressure and teamwork. So uh, communicating with the group to uh, communicate what needed to be done and who was gonna do it. The biggest challenge was integrating all the peripherals that we had for the software that we were developing. So we had to take measurements from the sensors and also send it via Bluetooth, which can end up being a large task. The biggest challenge with our project was keeping in the accuracy and then translating that accuracy to what essentially became kind of like a second capstone for us, which was building representative software. So we actually built a 3D engine for what we scanned. So taking the data that we scanned and then moving that data mathematically into that uh, 3D point cloud model and having it accurately depicted without any loss of data or loss of effect was probably our biggest challenge. The best thing about working on the project is the vast amount of experience that we gain. Like, from starting the project to what I know now, I have learned so much and I would have never been able to expect that. It's honestly crazy. Definitely the sense of accomplishment at the end. Um, and so much frustration goes into things you never expect, but uh, once you get it working and you see that it's completely from the ground up, so it's really really satisfying to see that at the end. The best thing, I mean, I can spend time with my friend, I can spend time with people I know, and then doing things I love, which is programming. Um, you know, I love the fact that you are hands-on, like uh, you, you get to actually build something and you learn how the world really works outside of school. It was stressful, it was tons of work, um, but at the end of the day, the reward of actually sitting in that point cloud and seeing what you had created and it working and like, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing.